Foley Steel's Maiden, First of Autumn Sun, Babasonica, Matrix, Red Bishop's Briggs, Travelling Magician, Gone Fishing, Lee Meg, Skepta, Shop Around, Silvery Art, 20 Tequila, Dak Attack, Hefi he- Hesito, is that right? Jupiter, Loki, Powerful Now, Western Railroad, Blue Earth, Daddy's Little Girl, Exotic Dancer, Nat Geo Girl, Polar Radio, Rose Sword, Scintillate, Springtime, Temperamental Lady. That's me. <laughs> okay, all of the stools in and ready to go. And away they go. A little bit slow to go was Dog's Horse on the inside, but as they sort themselves out through the first full of myself, Blue Earth and Polar Radio. And right up the centre of the track, Locky Western Railroad's also pulling for its head. Pace is a slow one at this stage. It's a fairly long distance race, and Western Railroad and Locky are disputing the early lead with Silvery Art, who's made up for that tardy start. And is now up in third, and a little bit of a gap to the grey Dak attack. Blue Earth and Rose Sword after that one feel pretty closely bunched, with the exception of the lead in three. Western Railroad, Locky, and Silvery Art are clear by about three lengths to the grey Dak attack. Then Rose Sword and Daddy's little girl, little Lee Megs, after that one, Jupiter. Travelling magicians dropping back through the pack, looking towards the back of the field. Gone fishing, temperament. Middle Lady and Baba Sonic are the back three, but it's Western Railroad and Locky who dispute the lead. Silvery Arts a couple of lengths back in second, another couple of lengths back then to Dak Attack and Matrix. Daddy's little girl on the wide outside, Lee Megan Rose Sword, then Jupiter in springtime after that one. Trying to get a little bit closer is Polar Radio, Nat Geo Girl also is getting closer, so is Exotic Dancer and Heffy Hesito. Baba Sonico is still the back marker, but it's Locky who's now coming to take it up. Locky's about a head in front of Western Railroad. Silvery Arts drop back to the pack. And these leading two are a good four lengths clear now. Western Railroad on the inside from in second place, Lockie. Then they get back to Daddy's Little Girl is making good ground. The one who's making good progress on the outside is Springtime Matrix. Travelling Magician's also making good ground. Jupiter's coming through with a run. The grey Dak attacks trying to get back into it after hitting a flat spot. But it's Western Railroad on the inside of Lockie. Rose Swords now come sweeping through for Jim Murray. And Rose Sword comes up the centre of the truck as they hit the three furlong pole. Rose Sword hits the front. Rose Swords in the lead from Western Railroad. Matrix running on, then Locky, Daddy's Little Girl, Jupiter and Travelling Magician, then Blue Earth and Dak Attack. Rose Sword by a length, two Matrix in second. On the inside, Locky, then Western Railroad. Daddy's Little Girl and Jupiter still there. Blue Earth trying to run as well. Exotic Dancer trying to make some ground from the back, but it's still Rose Sword in the lead by three quarters of a length. Rose Sword to Matrix, well inside the final furlong. Matrix now begins to assert and gets ahead in front. It's Matrix in the lead from Rose Sword, fast finishing Jupiter and Daddy's Little Girl on the wide outside. It's going to be closely caught to one of flash past them both together and a very fast finishing Blue Earth may have got up to Orbit Jupiter so let's have a look at the finish it's pretty close and I think Jupiter's just held on we lost that one then Jupiter's the winner for Django fast finishing Blue Earth for Darren Thompson was second Daddy's Little Girl Paul Rhodes was third Matrix for Tam King fourth Rose Sword for Jim Murray was fifth 